what is up Iros in today's video we got some rice puffs I got to make the burst charge for 4 inch firework shells and we're gonna make some in this video so stay tuned So this is a bag of probably now about 400 grams because I ate some for about two dollars or two euros. It's very tasty, I can tell you. There it is. For those who are wondering and don't know why I use a rice puffs to make the burst charger and how will I do it is because for bigger shells you'll need a lot more granulated black powder to fill up the big shells so you need to use something to coat that's light and also has decent size of the granulation like these rice puffs so since I cannot get myself rice holes which are most common thing to use for firework shells I am gonna use the rice puffs you need to use this instead of clean granulated black powder to reduce the weight of the shell and also save on your black powder imagine filling the shell with clean granulated black powder now imagine coated rice puffs with black powder just imagine the difference in weight and also in filling the space in the shell so that's the main reason for using these rice puffs rice holes sunflower seeds sometimes wheat seeds vermiculite but for now we're gonna make some brush charge with this So first I'm going to see how much this bucket can hold the rice puffs so it doesn't spill out and then I'll measure and do some proportions to see how much I'll put the black powder for them. On that I'll put 4% of dextrin as a binder, so it sticks to the puffs. So the mix has been shaken and I'm ready to start. I'll be using this 70 to 30 uh, alcohol and water, so should get the job done. So definitely too small sprayer for this process.
had the lid for this bucket and I wanted to put it to prevent the dust from coming out and I'm using the mixture for uh, rice puffs but it got lost somewhere. I'll find it one. Check this one out, and that's how much some of them have, and some have less than that. I'll mix some more so I can finish this batch. So, some of these puffs already got finished, and I needed to sift them out. I'll put this back and ones that are already in the roller, this is how I sort them out. So what's not good about them is that these have pretty fine surface which will be a bit rough to ignite but they will for sure ignite. So that's the rest of the puffs and here is the rest of the mixture. So that's the mix that's left. I'm not gonna be putting that mix since all of the puffs are nicely coated. I had to use my giant one to finish rest of the pops. Now I need to find the place to dry this and we'll see the test when it dries. As you can see some of them have shrinked in very small pieces and some of them are like little stars. There is also a second batch there. These are not fully dry, but let's just test them out. Yeah, definitely not dry.
These were drying for about a week and now they feel completely dry and also sound like that. So actually some of them are shrinked and some of them are like some stars. But they are completely dry for sure. Now we'll do a little test. So that was faster than the previous test. So nice. That's gonna do it for this video, I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next videos on the channel. Stay safe and peace out.